Okay, everybody, this is going to be Flashback Friday 14, and uh, we're going to start our review by looking at simplifying fractions. Um, like we showed you in class, really there's just a very easy way to do this. I'm going to put the numerator over x, then I'm going to put the denominator over x, and then I'm going to have a line that says x equals, all right? Now, I'm going to look at my numerator and my denominator, and I'm going to start by putting in the lowest number, whatever it is. And it just so happens when I do that in this case, it gives me a simplified fraction of one over four. It doesn't always give you that the first time, but say 16 had not worked and these two numbers had been decimals, then you need to just go down one at a time until you find the first number here that makes both of these two number whole, you know, both of those two numbers whole numbers. All right, so that's how we did the first one. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to our second one. And this one's a little bit harder. Um, 35 over X and 49 over X. And we're gonna start with the smallest number, which is 35. And if you notice, you've got one that's a whole number, one that's a decimal, so that won't work. So we're actually gonna go ahead and go through the whole thing. 34 gives us decimals, that's not gonna work. 33 gives us decimals. 32 gives us decimals. 31 gives us decimals. 30 gives us decimals. <laughs> so we're gonna go down to 29. This one's gonna take a while just to show you how this works. Eight gives us decimals. 27, 26, still have decimals. 25, more decimals. 24, 23. 22, 21, 20, still gives us decimals, so let's jump down to 19. All right, still got decimals, let's try 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, let's try 10, that didn't work either, so let's try nine. Eight, seven, ah, seven worked. And when I divided both numerator and denominator by seven, I end up with five over seven. And that is the, re the, the fraction in simplest form.